Alexander Zarev has been given an eight-week suspended ban for his attack on the umpire's chair at the Mexican Open. World No. 3 Zarev was disqualified from the ATP 500 tournament after hitting the chair in frustration following a doubles defeat. He was also fined the maximum amount possible of $40,000 for verbal abuse and unsportsmanlike conduct, and forfeited his prize money and lost all his ranking points from the tournament. However, he will not face any further punishment as long as he does not break the rules again in the next year. The ATP's senior vice president of rules and competition Miro Bratoyev conducted the review into the incident and it was found that, Zarev committed aggravated behavior under the player major offense section of ATP rules. He will be hit with an eight-week ban and fined an additional $25,000 if he receives a code violation that results in a fine for unsportsmanlike conduct or for verbal or physical abuse of an official, opponent, spectator or any other person while on court or on site within the next 12 months. If the conditions are met, the penalties will be formally dismissed following the completion of the probation period, said a statement from the ATP. If the conditions are not met, the penalties will be invoked after any appeal process is exhausted. Zarev, who has until March 11 to appeal against the decision, returned to the court in the Davis Cup at the weekend and won both of his singles matches for Germany. He is also set to play at the BNP Paribas Open at Indian Wells this week. He apologized after the incident in Acapulco, saying, It is difficult to put into words how much I regret my behavior during and after the doubles match yesterday. I have privately apologized to the chair umpire because my outburst towards him was wrong and unacceptable, and I am only disappointed in myself. It just should not have happened and there is no excuse. As you know, I leave everything on the court. Yesterday, I left too much. I am going to take the coming days to reflect on my actions and how I can ensure that it will not happen again. I am sorry for letting you down.